Fire Duck City Hunters of America. I found this horn just outside of that pine tree, about halfway from uh, oh, from here to there, I guess, right in that area. I've come this far in about 20 minutes, and I didn't see that until I saw those tips down there. This one looks like a nicer horn, but it does look like a last year horn also, which I'll take it. Big horn like that. Yeah, that's a nice horn out there. Hopefully that's side somewhere. It's not a trophy or nothing. But it's a nice big average bull. Makes it out of average. Yeah. It's got some weight to it. It's a very, very pretty horn. Yep. Too bad it's got a little bit of cracks in it. Yeah, what happens is they, they grade it by these cracks. If it's cracked, it's either one, which is no cracks, two, which is slight cracks. Hey, this may be a three heck, but uh, maybe I can get a two out of my buyer since I find a lot of horns for them. And uh, I'm gonna have to hit that oak brush, I guess. I'm gonna have to glass that up there because this other side might be somewhere. And this little guy's other side might be somewhere. All right, stay tuned. Shed Hunters of America, we're gonna find a lot of horns today. And I might get stuck in, in this canyon night camping out. And uh, all I got is a piece of plastic, some beans, Vienna sausage, and a lot of water and Gatorade. So I hope I get enough horns I can get out of here early enough I get back to the truck. It's way on the top of that mountain from way down there. That's going to be a challenge. But I got our friend Evelyn Yazo who says if I get stuck down here, give her a call. She'll come get me. All right.